Hey folks, uh, VM Explorer here, and I wanted to give you an update on some things I'm going to be installing in my home lab really soon. I've uh, teamed up with uh, Synology, and I was actually able to have them send me out this uh, DS6116 21 Plus, excuse me, <laughs> disk station, right? Uh, we're going to be checking that out, and uh, in the future videos I'll be doing a lot more on it. Uh, but for now, I just want to kind of give you an overview of all the parts and things I'm doing into my lab uh, just to kind of set the stage. So we're going to be doing some NAS array testing. Uh, but to do that, uh, first, of course, you need a NAS. In this case, you know, like I said, I got the Synology NAS there. Uh, they also sent out some really nice parts. Uh, you know, you got the 800 gig uh, NVMe. And then they also sent out their uh, 10 gig uh, card, which has... SFP plus connections. Uh, to interconnect the NAS, um, we're going to need something that can handle that. Now, I already have one of these micro tick uh, switches uh, in my home lab, and you've seen the previous videos on that, but I really wanted to make a controlled environment. So I went ahead and picked up another one, and I've also picked up a couple 10 gig cards um, for the PCs I'm going to be doing some testing from. So not only will we be testing from uh, VMware, you know, ESXi, the VMs into the Synology, right? But we're also going to be testing from like Windows-based PCs into the Synology. Uh, to interconnect the SFP Plus ports on the MicroTik, I went with uh, FlyPro and got these transceivers that convert the SFP Plus into uh, RJ45. And speaking of RJ45, I got a bunch of Cat 6E cables uh, that are shielded. So that we have nice, uh, good connectivity as we go through this. But folks, uh, that is a really quick overview of all the parts I'm going to be assembling here really soon. We're going to get these together. We're going to put, put in the Synology uh, disk station through its paces. Running cell phones on it and PCs on it. Throwing ESXi against it and all those types of things. And in a minute here, or a couple seconds, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the Synology. And we'll continue on the video from there. All right, went ahead and moved a few things around. Let's go ahead and get that Synology out of its box. All right, so let's get her opened up. All right, and inside the box we find, okay, looks like a couple of uh, patch cables here, and they appear to be uh, Cat5e cables. So those will be good for our... Uh, kind of one gig connections, right? Uh, not good for 10 gig, uh, but definitely good for uh, the one gig connections uh, that it comes with default, right? We've got our uh, handy dandy uh, power supply cable here, no big deal. And then around the corner here, we've got a couple other things. Looks like a key to unlock a few things. And looks like a nice, nice bolt pack there. All right, so let's get the accessory box out of the way and get to the big, big guy. Okay, quick installation guide. We'll go through that, I'm sure. Let's pull out the Synology. All right, so there it is, package down below. All right, we're gonna put it on pause. We're gonna pull this big guy out and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, you can see we got the Synology out of the box now, this 1621 Plus. Uh, and we've got a front view here with the six, uh, uh, disk trays, different LEDs, a power button, LAN connectivity buttons up front, which are kind of nice. Those indicators are always appreciated. And it looks like we got some drive indicators uh, down here below as well. Let's take a look at it uh, from behind, spin it around. I will say, while I'm spinning this around, that Synology did a really good job packing this up. I'm really impressed uh, with their packaging material. Uh, I wouldn't say that the box is super heavy duty, uh, but inside the box, you know, you look at the size of this NAS right here compared to the size of the box, and you can see there's a lot of packing around it. So they did a really good job. It looks like someone took some care there to uh, package it well and make sure that it was going to arrive to you uh, in one piece, which, you know, that's something I think a lot of us appreciate. We put our hard money out there. You know, we expect the package to come in in order. So uh, looking at the back here, uh, you can see uh, right away we've got... Uh, two fans there on the top, power supply on the left, an extension card 
on the right over here. Uh, moving down a little bit, you can see we got the two USB ports, the four one gig NIC ports, and then it appears we have some uh, eSATA connectors, two eSATA connectors in the back. So no big surprises, just want to kind of give you a quick overview of what the Synology uh, looks like, right? And the different parts I'm going to be laying out uh, in my kind of NAS home lab here. And uh, we'll post up some more videos as I power it on, start working with it, reconfiguring it, sticking bad drives in it, and see how it handles that. All types of stuff. So looking forward to it. Uh, if you have questions, post them up below. We'd love to hear things that you're interested in seeing more about, uh, especially on this topic. So post those. All the components you see here will be listed as well. I'll try to put some links there so you can find these products and parts and things that I'm uh, messing around with if you want to look at them for yourselves. Do hit that subscribe button and thank you so much.